Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've got some more unfortunate news to cover here when it comes to Call of Duty. Call of Duty is on a rampage recently, taking down the fun, it would seem. You may recall that a couple of days back, we talked about how Call of Duty actually issued a cease and desist for SM2 or SM squared, a game that we've covered on the channel multiple times. We actually, like I said, talked about this a couple days back. SM2 posted a tweet saying, today, a team member received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the SM2 project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thanks for all your support. And that was simply the end of SM2 really before it even was available. No one ever got to play it outside of the creators for the game because it was still in its development stages for years on end, right? And that was supposed to be like the MW2 remaster of uh, multiplayer player that we never really have gotten to see yet at least officially from call of duty right but it was also going to be beyond that as well including elements from multiple other call of duty games everyone was super excited for it that had found out about the sm2 project and seeing that cease and desisted and shut down cease and desisted the right way to phrase that i don't know seeing it shut down was a major bummer kind of expected because yes it is them going out and using the call of duty ip for their own thing despite it not being monetized or anything Call of Duty was totally within their rights to do that. It still sucks though. Well, unfortunately, Call of Duty does not seem to be stopping there. And in fact, by, I mean, maybe the end of this month, honestly, they could be completely done with their rampage of takedowns and the Call of Duty community, especially those that are fans of the older games are gonna be in a very tough place because yesterday morning, there was a new tweet posted this time from X Labs, who also works on a uh, PC Call of Duty mod for various other titles. We're talking MW2 available there as well, uh, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, and most notably Black Ops 3, which was kind of popping off lately. I've seen a ton of people going back and playing this because the key thing here is that this gave players on PC a place to safely play the game. But anyways, before we get further on into this conversation, here's what X Labs posted. A very similar thing, honestly. Today, we've received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the X Labs project. We are complying with this and shutting down all operations permanently. Thanks for all your support. Like quite literally, it's the same exact thing going on there. And again, it's disappointing, it's understandable, but it still sucks. And here is why. The reason that things like X Labs here and everything that they've got going on, the reason why SM2 and also the reason uh, that things like Pluto or Plutonium, which we'll talk more about here in just a bit, the reason that they're so important right now for Call of Duty is it's giving players a chance to safely play older Call of Duties and actually bringing life to the older Call of Duty titles. Essentially, if you wanted to go back and play Modern Warfare 2 2009 or Call of Duty Ghosts or Advanced Warfare, if you're opening up those games on your old Xbox 360 or Xbox One or PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4, you're not going to find games just straight up. You're probably going to search in TDM or free for all for an hour and be lucky if you get matched with a handful of players, right? Like there is no realistic audience on those games. They are dead games, especially on those super old gen consoles at this point, right? So your next alternative would have to be playing on PC. Well, unfortunately, the old Call of Duty games on PC are an absolute mess. If you try to, you know, launch MW2 or Ghosts or Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, whatever, via Steam or whatever else, you're gonna be met with your computer being absolutely destroyed by the hackers on the uh, standard versions of those games. Those games are plagued with all sorts of major safety issues where literally your uh, you know, personal information could be stolen by hackers and people on that game. They could screw up your PC in all sorts of ways. It is not safe to play those old Call of Duty games just as the straight up game. But also the player base there probably not gonna be thriving either. And that's where, you know, things like X Labs and SM2 and Pluto come into play because now there is an actual active community because these, uh, you know, these projects have built up a platform and have a following. So you've got a player base where you can actually enjoy playing these games and you can do it without worry of your PC being absolutely obliterated and your personal information being leaked out online. 
So there's major safety concerns involved here. There's player base concerns involved here. If you're someone who never got the chance to play MW2 or BO2, one, I feel bad for you because these are the best games in Call of Duty franchise history. If you wanted to go back and play them, you really don't have a safe option to now. It's just not viable whatsoever because Call of Duty doesn't upkeep their old titles for whatever reason. And now they've gone out and they've taken down, again, within their rights. They're perfectly okay to take these projects down. They absolutely can. That It's their IP. They can do whatever they want with it. It just really sucks that the scenario that they're leaving us with is not really one that is uh, a solution whatsoever. It just creates more problems. So like I was talking about earlier on in the video, there are three main like PC mods right now that have decent audiences. SM2, which unfortunately, like I said, no one really ever got to play and that's done forever. X Labs, which was really taken off, especially lately with the Black Ops 3 clients and everything there. And then Plutonium as well, which also allows you to play some of the older COD games too. And Modern Warzone posted some really good tweets about this. Uh, in regards to X Labs, he said Activision just effectively killed any chance for players to enjoy MW2, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, and BO3 online ever again. Don't play any of these titles online. You're putting yourself and your PC at risk. So just like I said, it's just no longer safe. But then when it comes to the Plutonium mod, if Activision goes after that next switch, I mean, they're on their rampage right now. SM2 gone, X Labs gone, Plutonium's kind of the next one. It's like that meme of, you know, the Grim Reaper at the door. Then there will be no safe way to play Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, MW3, or World at War online anymore. So if you're a fan of older Call of Duties, if you're trying to actively play those, or if you want to experience them for the first time, you're either going to be forced to go and play it on a 10 year old console that has legitimately no audience and no player base and hope that you can somehow find a match or you boot it up on PC and potentially risk major safety threats. So Call of Duty, again, reasonably has taken down projects that they don't have permission to be, uh, you know, doing with their IP, despite the fact that they are not monetized, they're not making money. It's just simply for the community, really. Uh, they've taken down those projects and left us with no real way to play their old Call of Duty games, which to me is a major mistake. You spent years and years and years playing these games, promoting these games, creating these games, obviously. And now it seems like they don't want people on those old games and they'd rather just have them on the new ones, which I get. Hey, yeah, you want people to play your new game, Warzone 2, MW2, DMZ. Look, we got all this stuff going on. Come play this instead of that. But that's still your old stuff now. And unless you're going to actively support your old games and make them safe to play, and give people a reason to create a player base on a game that's you know 10 plus years old taking down these community-based mods doesn't really do anything for you except for get the uh you know legal team happy because they don't like that these projects are out there quite frankly i'm not sure who posted on twitter might have been charlie intel saying that this probably all starts when fortnite got their creative mode and people started making call of duty maps and then uh, Activision, I guess, started trying to get that stuff taken down and Epic basically said, hey, yeah, if you create maps from other IPs, you're going to get banned or whatever. It probably started there and Call of Duty started to realize, well, wait a minute, people are making stuff out of our game and creating stuff from our IP and it's not us. We can't be having that regardless of if it's monetized or free or what. They didn't like that. And again, they're totally able to do that because it is their game at the end of the day. It's just such a bummer situation for those that wanted to be a part of these more niche communities for these mods that gave people a chance to enjoy these older Call of Duties in a safe way. So definitely a crummy situation. I will not be surprised at all if I see a plutonium tweet on my timeline later this week saying we've received a letter from Activision telling us to stop everything with Pluto. We're going to just shut it all down because that seems to be the trend here. Uh, definitely a bummer. Definitely sad. We'll see what happens with this in the future. Maybe Call of Duty's doing all this because they're currently secretly working on a major project for like throwback Call of Duties. That'd be like the, uh, you know, the wishful thinking here. I truly don't think that's the case, but hey, you never know. Glass half full, maybe. Uh, but that is going to wrap things up for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, despite the bummer news, let me know by dropping a like on it. It does really help the channel grow. And if you guys are new here and you want to stay up to date with all things going on, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. I got you covered every single day. So this is the place to be. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.